Kentucky, it's Thanksgiving Monday! Which for me means work! So let's get to it! It is so quiet out. Plus times it gets like that, it's just starting to snow and I think the clouds like being heavy, mixed in with a holiday Monday where everybody's still sleeping or just chilling at home, not many cars on the road. It's kind of a wonderful time to be out. I also had a late start to the morning. Megan and I got to sleep in a little. Oh, but now I need some exercise, which is why I'm walking to get the blood flowing and some coffee. Megan came here to get some stuff and scouted location, said it was dead, so here I am. We Angry Bird! He, we blogged him. Oh, good. I feel like we have not gotten more than a few hours straight for a lot of nights now. A lot of nights. It's like three nights ago, somebody was up at like... Two. Two. One, two, baby up at four, baby up at six. This is after we got them all sleeping. I know. And our bodies adjusted to, well, till 6 a.m. to get through the night. And yeah. so now to go backwards, like, feels like we're hit by a truck. Terrible. A train. Maybe a train. A train? <laughs> a truck. We're hit by something. We've even been resorted to drinking coffee to a degree. With lots of milk and So proud of you. <laughs> Odin, what? last night I got really, really hungry. And I ate all your candy. No, you're just kidding. Oh, I'm just kidding. Yes. Mom, we got real, real hungry. I ate all Halloween candy. Oh, you ate all our Halloween candy? <laughs> <laughs> he loves Jimmy Kimmel when he eats all the Halloween candy and cry, all the kids cry. <laughs> He's not a horrible person, I promise. But she is for showing it to him. <laughs> We're gonna actually try it on November 1st. Let's see how well it He'll just laugh. Bye, buddy. Can you have a piece? You don't want it? No, you can have a piece. Okay, well, it was nice and quiet in here this morning, but now. It is getting busy. So we are going to move on. It's kind of chilly, but it's kind of interesting in our culture in North America here how little we walk, how important it is. But in Europe, they're, I think, much thinner because they have smaller portion sizes and they walk everywhere. Be nice to do. Tough to do in Canada, though, come winter time when it's 40 degrees below, but while you can, you might as well. The question that people have been asking me is just kind of tips about how to grow their own thing, whether that maybe be a video blog, you know, your YouTube channel, your Facebook page, even your own just regular blog. I think what's important is that uh, one quality content, sometimes it can be hard to figure out whether like your content's really resonating with people, but that's where you have to ask for feedback and use your comments and always try and make it better. You've got quality content that you need to be putting it out regularly like a lot like as much as you can like if you're a blogger and you do like three one week and then one the next week and none and then maybe you do four and then you it's got to be like a lot of it consistently like regular keep it going lots and lots and lots of content and then work on like your distribution like collaborating with people, engaging people, not just like for the purpose of selling them on watching or engaging or reading your content, but just in being a normal human being. Like I think people wanna always be interacting with people that they like, that are quality human beings. And so 
that distribution is hugely important. Like, just creating the content doesn't mean that anybody's going to come and watch it or read it. You got to engage other people. You got to get out there. You got to, even in like the real world for the vlog, I'm always trying to like hang around other people and build those connections, those natural networks. But if you, I think if you have quality content that you're creating regularly, a lot of it, and you've got distribution channels where you're regularly connecting with people, I think it's going to grow. My two cents. I'm home now. Kind of out of breath too. Oh man, it's cold. I was trying really hard today to like be into working and feeling like there are some things pressing, but I've done some work this morning. It's now 1230 and I'm just like trying to get into some things and I'm just not getting into anything. So you know what I'm going to do? Just leave it and move on. I don't know what, family time maybe, Thanksgiving, making some food. Yeah, I think so. I'm done. Done working. Let's find something else to do. Oh, I would love to be doing this right now. That would be sweet. I uh, don't think that's in the cards though. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. I gave up on working. Yes. Oh, you're taking time off? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> snowing out. Check this out. I don't know what's going on here, but... If you're gonna have craft dinner, just do craft dinner. Don't like organic, grass-fed, like... That uh, it doesn't have that added, like all the preservatives. Yeah, but you're gonna powders. add you're gonna add ketchup and wieners to it anyway. <laughs> you don't need to wrap me out <laughs> to all of Regina and a farm. Your dad be strong. Let's make it dad for like ten years. Every day for lunch, basically ate five bologna and ketchup sandwiches. Probably five. Was it more? Oh. It seemed like it was a loaf of bread every day. Well, it, was, it was like four. Really. outside. I was just outside for like 20 minutes or so making some review videos of some of the lenses Panasonic sent me. Now my hands are very cold and the other lenses are really fogged up from going inside and outside. Man it's like giant powdery snow though. Are you uh, shopping for toys there or like what are you doing? Um, who doesn't look at the wish book when it comes out <laughs> obviously. <laughs> All right some more work done but i do actually view my youtube channel as work it's this investment for the future got my little lens shootout thing done and it just feels good to create something that always feels really really good like i get this itch like when i'm at home too long and i haven't like made something whether that be like a picture or a video or i don't know any other little project like i just feel like oh i gotta go out and make something so nice to make something but it wasn't I knew I wanted to make it, but didn't know it was going to happen today, but happened today, if you're a lens nerd. It's coming. You're watching for it, aren't you? Well, there's one. This is what I love about my family. Is we've never been too formal about meals. So Christmas, Thanksgiving, we'll like do homemade pizzas, or in today's case, soup and homemade herb and garlic bread. Oh, it's gonna be good, like really good. Perfect on a cold, snowy day. All right, final thought for the day. I'm thankful, very thankful for a lot of things. I'm thankful for an amazing wife and amazing kids that get to be a part of our life. I'm thankful for amazing job. I'm thankful for this vlog. I'm thankful for friends. I'm thankful for family. I'm thankful for a lot of things, but I try not to just leave that to one day of the year. And I truly believe the more thankful for you, you are for what you do have, the more fun you have in life. And if you focus on the things that you don't have, generally you're a pretty miserable person. And if you can't be thankful for whatever you have right now, you're never going to be happy. And you may be looking around and comparing and seeing people that have more than you. Stop it. No matter who you are, if you have the ability to watch us right now, you probably have more than 80 or 90% of the world. And so you're already in good standing. Things could be better, but when you focus on the positives, put your energy there. 
you're going to have a much better life. But thank you guys. I'm so thankful, so grateful for all of you guys following along and supporting me in this journey. It's been amazing, and we're just going to keep going. So I'm Justin. Thank you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you tomorrow. Kind of as we're rolling through the footage here, you're seeing that this is a really good looking lens. And it's kind of amazing, given the price differential between these two, is are the end users really going to notice a difference? Well, obviously, if you're shooting at 1.4 and trying to compare that to 2.5, Odin, 